Good evening, folks. My name is Reese Trevino, your local pedal demologist. Today I'm here with Death Cloud, and we're going to be taking a look at the Dark Star V3 by Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Unlike its little brother, the V3 expands upon its bit crushing, pitch shifting, and reverb capabilities, all while keeping the freeze function in the bottom left hand corner. Now with the V3, we're able to receive MIDI message, allowing us to unlock a completely new arsenal of reverbs, all at the push of a MIDI function. Let's check it out. Okay, let's go ahead and get into Unboxing the Dark Star V3. We'll go ahead and take it out of its little cage. And I've already done the liberty of taking it out of its little petal pouch as well. Now, here is the Dark Star in all of its glory. Now, in the box, you'll also be receiving a Old Blood Doys Endeavors pick sticker. Can't go wrong with a little partner. Now let's go ahead and get into the controls of this pedal. On the front, you'll be seeing the stereo in and out, MIDI in and out, as well as the expression, USB, and 9 volt input. On the face of the pedal, on the first row, you're going to be seeing the filter knob that controls the low and high pass function, the dual pitch knobs that independently control the pitch for the stereo image, the bit crushing knob, which can also add a little bit of overdrive if you crank it up all the way. Second row, we're gonna have the lag or pre-delay knob, your multiply, which will self oscillate the reverb, as well as your decay knob that controls, of course, your decay time. Left hand side on this little row right here, you'll be seeing the volume, mix, and spread for your full serial capabilities. On the version three, we have now added the preset option here, which you can bank using this button. And you cannot forget your, of course, bypass on and off and the dark star freeze function. Now that we've taken a look, let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Now that we've got it plugged in, let's go ahead and start with a clean tone.
let's go ahead and check it out with the freeze function. Now that we've tried out the freeze function, let's go ahead and take a look at the second row of knobs. Let's go ahead and try out the filter knob. When turning it to the left, you're going to get a low pass filter, whereas where you turn it to the right, it is a high pass filter. Let's try it out. Okay, for the next two knobs, we have the dual pitch knobs. Now, the dual pitch knobs, when turned to the right, control an octave up, and when turned to the left, of course, do an octave down. Now, the cool thing about these pitch knobs is that they are directly connected to the multiply or self oscillation knob. So, we'll get some pretty cool rainbow machine-esque tones with this setting. Let's try it. Now that's got to be my favorite part of the pedal, besides the freeze function. But next we'll go ahead and take a look at the next knob. This is the bit crushing knob. Let's hear it.
All right, now that we've taken a listen at a couple of the different sounds and settings, let's go ahead and hear how it sounds in context to a song. And for that, we'll be using the Texas Miracle by Veritas Guitars. Here we go. Alright folks, that's a wrap. This was the Dark Star V3 by Old Blood Noise Endeavors. This little guy can do it all from creating lush textures, dreamy soundscapes, or otherworldly atmospheres. Whether you're looking to go for experimental tones or looking to add something unique to your rig, the Dark Star V3 delivers and can do anything for you. So if you're looking to pick one up today, please feel free, click the link in the description as well as like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future pedal content. With that being said, please tell us what you think. We'd love to hear your comments, your favorite settings, as well as your favorite sound. Thank you again, everybody. My name is Reese Trevino. Hope you have a good night.